hello everyone in this video we are going to discuss how the love demand can be displayed or can be shown into diff three different ways so for so what is this the relation between price of a commodity and its quantity demanded that is a love demand can be expressed into three different ways first one in a table which is known as as demand schedule second one is in a graph which is known as a, a demand curve third one is in mathematical language which is known as demand equation if we are given some demand schedule we can make a corresponding demand curve and equation out of it similarly if demand equation is given it can be converted into schedule and a graph so we are going to discuss three of these one by one first of one what is meant by demand schedule a demand schedule is a table that shows the relationship between the price of a good and the quantity demanded a demand schedule shown the quantities of a good or services which buyers would be willing and able to purchase at various prices we select different prices of a commodity along with the quantities which are bought at different prices when these pair of p that is price and q that is quantity are put in a table we get a demand schedule as you can see in the given example this demand schedule for sugar shows that when price is 24 per kg the people buys 200 kg of sugar but when the price level start falling the demand is expanded larger and larger quantities are demanded and Uh, at the price of uh, yeah, rupees eight, the quantity demand is six hundred rupees six hundred kg. So this is all about de demand schedule. Then second way, uh, the thing that how the demand curve can be drawn. So first of all, what is demand curve? We should be know about it. Demand curve is a graph of the relationship between the price of a good and the quantity demanded. When the relation between demand and price is shown in a graph it is known as demand curve each point of the demand curve refer to different quantity that will be demanded at different prices you can also uh, see in the video the given example quantity has been measured along the y x axis and price is on y axis at uh, when the price is p1 the quantity demanded is q1 when the price is p2 the quantity demanded is q2 and when the uh, price is p3 the quantity demanded is uh, q3 so when we join these point we get a curve that is known as uh, demand curve so third one method that how the demand curve can be displayed is equation functional equation of demand what is this 